Hi, I'm Martin Pring. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say that a chart is worth a thousand pictures. And that's because charts in the financial markets often scream out very important messages that an important or significant trend reversal has taken place or is about to take place. Each month I publish a newsletter called the Intermarket Review, and each issue contains what I call the chart of the month. And that features a market that I think has just turned or is about to turn. So this series of videos aims at presenting these charts of the month. So if you're interested in them, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be brought up to speed on a regular basis. So without more ado, let's go to the chart room and see what's in store this month. Our chart of the month is a technical one. But this issue, we are again looking at an economic series, specifically the unemployment rate, because there is a consensus developing that unemployment is going to peak sometime next year. With lots of economic data recently coming in higher than expectations, I say not so fast on this one. In the lower panel, I plotted an oscillator that divides the monthly non-farm payroll data by its 12-month moving average. Since payroll numbers move in the opposite direction to unemployment, I plotted it inversely. Now these green vertical lines flag peaks in the unemployment rate going back to the 1940s. Note that peaks in the non-farm oscillator coincided with those for unemployment in all situations up to 1990. Then in 1990 and 2002, there was quite a long lead time. This oscillator peaked a couple of months ago suggesting that we're now in the ballpark for an unemployment peak. But unfortunately, there's no way of ascertaining what the lag will be in the current cycle, even if there is one. However, we do know that the consensus is looking for a lengthy one, and that majority opinion is invariably wrong. We also know that when people are cognizant that something is likely to happen, they usually prepare for it ahead of time. Consequently, it could be argued that the unemployment rate may well peak ahead of expectations, and that view is supported by the July ISM report. In this respect, the center panel features the inversely plotted ISM employment index. The green highlights on the unemployment plot in the upper window show that when the index is greater than 45, there's a tendency for the unemployment rate to peak. For this inversely plotted series, that means a reading below the red horizontal line. Using this approach, there was no lag in the ISM employment signal in 1990. Now, it's true that there was a lag in the last cycle, but during the period when the ISM index was above 45, in other words, the green highlight flagged by the arrow, there was not much of a rise in the unemployment numbers. Since the July ISM employment number at 45.6 was only slightly greater than the 45 benchmark, I may be pushing the argument a little bit especially as temporary help, another leading employment indicator has not yet bottomed. However, the point of these comments is to suggest that the unemployment rate is more likely to peak sometime this year rather than well into 2010 than most observers are expecting. If that's the case, watch out for those bonds. They're likely to underperform. If you enjoyed this chart of the month, you may want to go to pring.com and download a free sample of our intermarket review. A monthly roundup of the world's principal financial markets with a special emphasis on the US. We also look at global indicators, bonds, precious metals, currencies and international markets using ETFs to execute our strategies as much as possible. You'll find unique indicators and intermarket relationships you cannot find anywhere else. In the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck and good charting.